It's a story about two families figuring out what the best way to love a little girl is. He's angry, he's, he's, he's lost, he's confused. He loves this little girl, but on top of it, he's holding on to her as the last vestige of his wife and daughter, you know? And he doesn't always do the right thing. Yet at the same time, he always does what he thinks is the right thing for the little girl. This is what's cool about working with Kevin Costner. Every now and then you're in a Kevin Costner movie, you know, and he, he is that, you know, whether it's Gary Cooper or old time, just he, he kind of lives that, you know, homespun, I don't know if it's country wisdom or just there's a, there's a sense of always knowing where true north is with him. And I, he brings that to the role, even when you have a, playing a drunk, aggravated, you know, unnerved guy. He, you just always sense it at the end of the day, he's gonna do the right thing. <laughs> she's very uh, entrepreneurial and very, she just runs, runs a big family and she's raising many of her nephews and nieces and cousins and, and she lost her husband, and, but she's still just soldiers on, you know? Probably has, at one time had two or three jobs, now runs her own business, and she's really a pretty heroic character, you know? And she's someone that I would want raising my child if something happened to me. The way the movie's designed is you say, oh, this girl belongs with Kevin Costner. And you go, no, no, no. This girl belongs with Octavia Spencer. And they go, no, no, he belongs up there. No, you don't know where. You can't, as a viewer, hopefully you can't figure out where you would put, put Eloise on a full-time basis. So how can you expect the judge to make the right decision? People love Octavia Spencer, you know? She's, you get the sense that she's fun to be with and she's, and she's, you know, real and flawed and not perfect, but, but a real kind of person that'll stand up for herself if she needs to, and, and that's who she is. You needed someone that could really play, play that cold, cool lawyer, but also someone that really you knew that cared about his sister and cared about his family and wanted to do the right thing, and it was, it was more than just winning, even though he said it was about just winning. And Anthony brings a lot of, you know, a lot of complexity to that character. Well, I love Bill Burr, you know, and I, I started as a comedian and I, and I always wanted a dramatic role. And, you know, uh, I remember Steven Spielberg called me, uh, to, hired me for Minority Report out of nowhere. And I was just so happy and, and, uh, so I, I know that comedians can act, you know, and, and I, I uh, was sitting home one night and I saw him on Conan, he was doing stand-up, and I called Kevin, I said, watch this guy, get on, get jump on TV and watch this guy. The night of the George Zimmerman trial, President Obama was asked why he feels positive about race relations in this country. And he said, because his kids were better than Michelle and he were with it. And I thought, well, my kids are better that, than my wife and I are with it. And I, so I thought, okay, well, so we are getting better. But the truth is there's a lot of kids that are worse than their parents were and that are, their parents are teaching them just to hate black people or hate white people or that black people hate white people and white people hate black people. And I hope that people come away from that. We're, we're going to have to really teach the kids to stop this.